we really appreciate God for who he is and uh, what the Lord has purpose to do with the nation of Kenya and for the nation of Kenya. Uh, one more time, we come on board as the JPGM um, media to address the nation of Kenya as the Lord has allowed us to do so. So we are very, very grateful that God has given us an opportunity to speak to us. Now, I'll be addressing some few things and um, as allowed by God. And I know Jehovah God will uh, be glorified. Hallelujah. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, this morning, on the 10th day of October 2023, as a nation of Kenya, we glorify you, we worship you, we honor you, and we adore your name. Father, we are for the nation of Israel. We are for your people, and we are speaking your peace in Jerusalem. We are declaring that God is a continent of, of, uh, is a continent of Africa, we are for your people. For the sake of our prosperity, we are for your people. What has happened in Israel is not accidental. My God, it is speaking to us in volumes, even as a nation of Kenya. And Lord, we must be aligned to that which is your agenda for now. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you may give me utterance. The Lord, as I speak your word, I hide myself, my God, in the shelter of the Most High. That's where I belong. Everything about me, my children, my ministry, Lord, everything about my body. I am pleading the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. I pray the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Lord, I pray that your spirit will give me utterance even my father to be able to speak to my nation that your name may be glorified we thank you father and we give you the glory in jesus name we pray amen before i read some scriptures for us i'm coming on board to address some few matters in the nation and i want the nation of kenya to know that anytime anytime uh, you know a mistake is done and instead of being corrected it is concealed or, or covered up it will still because that is a seed that is a seed it will still get a way out you know it will still get a way out mm -hmm. now when i say this i want us to look at some th few things in the bible uh, there's a time Abraham lied, you know, about Sarah. You remember that story? He lied about Sarah to the king. And uh, when Isaac came again, he lied the same thing about the wife. And, uh, you know, and uh, now what is born from Isaac is Jacob. And, you know, that guy, you remember even how they conspired with the mother. And lies became, you know, a part of that lineage of Abraham. My brethren, when as, when something is done and it is not corrected, it will still manifest. It will still manifest in another angle. Now, I'm coming on board because God has allowed me to do this and the Lord has graced me to do this because uh, number one, apart from being a prophet of God by his own grace, I'm a mother in the nation of Kenya and we have the welfare of our nation in our hearts. Now, I just want to flash back some few things before I release the word of God for the nation. Now, it is God who allowed, because let me tell you, church, I mean, uh, the nation of Kenya, let me, let me speak to the nation because uh, I'm, I'm studying uh, on the church platform. Now, Kenya is not like any other country. Kenya is not like any other country. Number one, Kenya is a beloved of God. God has said that. Kenya is my beloved. Number two, Kenya is a maid of honor. Kenya is you know, has an, an end time assignment before God to prepare the nations of the world for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Number three, 
Kenya is a springboard of revival. I told you the other day, for those who have followed me for some time, that my dad, in my late dad in the Lord spoke to me and told me when that statement was first made in Kenya by T.L. Rosborn many years, that was 1972. And, you know, when we grew up, personally, I had gone to an choir from him when I had that in my spirit, when God spoke to me about Kenya having a big part to play in the world concerning the end time revival. I went to dad and I sat down with him. Thank God I recorded, you know, and he gave me the history of the church of the nation of Kenya. So that is, that is it. It is, it is, a, we are not now depending on what we have heard from other prophets. God has spoken to us what, you know, Kenya is supposed, the part Kenya is supposed to play in the end time assignment, I mean the end time revival. So Kenya is a springboard of revival. Now, Kenya is a further nation in Africa. So anything, you know, Kenya allows in it will flow because Kenya, the father is ahead, you know, father means a source. So it will, it will easily, when, when there's something like, you know, you know something that um, is targeted, you know, to disorganize Africa, if, it, if, uh, if uh, whoever is, is doing that, is able to hit or to penetrate Kenya, Kenya, South Africa, Nigeria, Uganda, and um, what is the other? What is the other nation? So there, there are five gates. So we have um, we have Uganda, we have Kenya, we have South Africa, we have Nigeria, and we have we have we have uh, we have Ghana. So if they are able to you know to penetrate in uh, those five countries then because those are the main gates the main prophetic gates in africa then they are able to uh to penetrate in the continent uh, any, anybody, whichever side, whichever side, whichever kingdom, because you know we have two kingdoms, so whichever kind, either demonic or the kingdom of God, because those are the main prophetic gates in Africa. So Kenya is a, you know, is a maid of honor. I have told you that, and uh, the nation of Kenya is not like any other nation. So anybody uh, being allowed by God to be the head of state, they should have that at their fingertips, and they should be helped to know that because when somebody enters state house. You know, uh, they should be, they, they should, uh, they should have that at their fingertips. Because why? God did not just allow you to enter there. Now, I want the nation to know that there is no leadership that can be unless that which is allowed by God. So any leadership, even uh, the past leadership, uh, God has the way of, of, of not of disallowing or allowing because that is scripture. The Bible says no authority can be apart from that which is allowed of God. So we are coming from, a, uh, you know, we are coming from a past leadership of uh, our former president, Uhumugai Kenyatta, and uh, his, he was deputized by, uh, you know, Dr. William Luto, who is now our current deputy. Now they began very well for the for the first um, you know five years, and we knew why uh, you know anybody seated on the seat like where I'm seated. They, we knew why God allowed the two to come together, and uh, we knew the agenda of God. We knew uh, you know uh, our former president would take it up. We knew, so, and we knew the reason why God allowed anybody. We have spoken these things. I don't want to go back to that. And um, now in the second time, you know things just you know did not work and we remember how the nation was full of insults and battles that were unending and uh, you know uh, you know uh, the nation was full of insults and so many things that we could not understand but anybody in the spirit again we knew where the what was the source of the battle we knew it and in our small way here and there we tried to, to we are tried to, to address that because number one the the parting way the way that the two gentlemen parted away it was not the will of God. It was not the will of God. Um, and when I was seeking God today, and I was asking God, you know, the spirit God has kept telling me, you know, there has been a lot of selfishness in the in the in, in the lives of the people. God allows, you know, to take charge of leadership of this country in whichever many of them, even as chiefs and uh, you know, uh, chiefs and uh, you know, any kind of a platform of leadership, you know, that most of the nation of Kenya has a lot of selfishness. So now those two gentlemen parted with and you remember you know the nation was full of insult and a lot of battles you know that we couldn't understand you know there were so many things but as prophets we knew what god you know what, what was happening because uh, god has never hidden you know uh, we <laughs> some of us even knew it was going that direction by the grace of god and we knew the reason why now i want the nation to know 
now that that issue and even the clergy, I, I remember, you know, maybe some of them tried and reconciling here and there, but the things never worked. Now, that wood, that wood, that wood in the nation of Kenya has never healed. That wood has never healed. And let me tell you, uh, now that we have, uh, you know, our current government leadership is led by Dr. William Ruto, our president, His Excellency. That wood that was, I know somebody is like prophet, but this is politics. Let me tell you, whether it is politics, we can never separate God from a nation. Whether it is politics or whether it is church, we cannot separate God from this because Kenya has an agenda in the heart of God. So I'm standing on the side of God. As I say what I'm saying, I'm standing on the side of God. So this wood has never healed. And that's why you realize, you know, uh, what came up, you know, at the end of the day is, you know, we could sense a lot of vengeance, a lot of vengeance. Somebody is saying this, but what is happening on the ground is reflecting a lot of vengeance. And um, now where I'm seated, where I'm seated, I still want to confirm it is God who allowed the current government to take it up. But our deputy, our deputy this time was meant to be a woman. According to the calendar of God, our deputy was in the nation of Kenya, the deputy, the deputy. That's why you saw one side, you know, caught it, and they have a deputy who was supposed to be, uh, you know, um, you know a, a, a deputy president who was supposed to be a woman. Because in the spiritual realm, I remember addressing in some offices, I sent messages, I went on the ground saying, this is the will of God. Tell, you know, tell this other camp, this is the will of God. You know, and I remember even reaching out to the woman who God had spoken to, uh, you know, God had spoken about. So now that a direction was taken, and I also just told it, it was taken, then we are left just to allow it, you know, to be the choice of men, what men chose, the direction men chose. But let me tell you, let me tell you, because there is a wood, there is a wood, and I have always said, despite the fact that people are in politics or what, there is a, a, there, we can never um, twist the scriptures. We cannot change. There is a respect that is supposed to be accorded to people because of their age and because of the position they hold, you know, in, in a society. So I, I, I know I, I know we have had you know people insulting uh, young people insulting and using very harsh words to even form a president and uh, you know hurling you know some insult that have a high magnitude you know with that one that one whether it is in the politics or not there is a language that you cannot use to somebody who is older than you or somebody who is, has been an authority over you so um. Now, keeping that aside, because three quarters of these people are pastors, so they have their, their, their pastors who are supposed to be doing that. That's not my assignment. Now, this wood that was um, that 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 came into the nation um, uh, with our you know with our past president, uh, I mean uh, the, the the past regime, but the, the the last five years, that wood in the nation of Kenya, that wood, that wood is still not healed. That wood is still not healed. Now, what? where are we headed to? Because of that, where are we headed to? Where are we headed to? I'm not, I'm a son of God. I'm not tribalistic. I'm a son of God and a woman of God who is dealing with everybody in my life. But I want to say something. Every tribe, if you look at the Bible, um, you know, uh, the 12 tribes of Israel, each one of them has their own redemptive gift. So in Kenya, we have about 43 tribes and each tribe has their redemptive gift. Now, where we are, we are coming from, it was not coincidental that the first president of the nation of Kenya came from a tribe called Kikuyu in Kenya. The second one, you know, the second one was Akarejin. The third one was an Akikuyu. The fourth one was Akikuyu. You know, the fifth one is now Akarejin. Now, anybody in the spirit in the nation of Kenya, you can now see the direction of the nation and the redemptive gift of these, these two tribes. Now, the Kikuyus, 
the kikuyus and god allowed the kikuyus uh, to, to be you know to be the first to be to take it up the I mean, being the first the, the initiators of this you know the, the, you know god allowed it to go that direction I, I was not born those years so i don't know so let me take it up from where i am now let me tell you there is what God intended. There is what God intended in his heart in this in the nation of Kenya concerning the tribe that is called the Kikuyus. But where I'm seated, many people, many actually the spirit God was telling me, God had, had has a, you know had um, entrusted the, the Kikuyus to be the economical, I mean the, the economical hub of the nation. Actually, the Lord was calling them, you know, the economic backbone of, of the nation. But what now has happened, and, and uh, you know, there is a partner and there is a priestly part of it for the nation. But now what has happened is after now God has allowed these people to be that way, they have decided to divert from the cause. And, uh, you know, uh, not everybody, and, and when I'm talking about this, I'm not addressing everybody. And uh, there's a lot of falling away. There's a lot of diversion from the agenda of God, a lot of selfishness. And some have even gone deeper into worship of idols and other things that are not God. And what you realize right now is that where we are, where we are right now is that in the season we have entered into, unless God intervenes, unless God intervenes, there's going to be such a cry in that community. Because why? When people have diverted, I'll read for you the scriptures. When a people have diverted, we saw what, what happened to them, you know, to the to the sons of Skiffers, um, you know, and uh, what happened to them, you know, to the to the to the to the to the sons of um of Era, including Era himself. What happened? When somebody diverts, look at what is happening to Saul. When somebody has diverted from the agenda of God. When when a people, uh, even the children of Israel, God has begun a journey with them. Anytime they diverted from the cause, God allowed them, you know, to, to encounter the wrath of their enemies. So this is now the atmosphere in the nation concerning the, that tribe, concerning that tribe, because they have literally, even with their priests, many of them, I'm not talking about everybody, I'm talking about many of them, you know, they have diverted, even with their business, instead of now doing their businesses in the ways of the Lord, many have diverted, they have gone for other worship, they have gone back to things that are not on, that are not of the true God. You know, there is what every 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 tribe has a redemptive gift. So I'm just addressing that particular tribe because that is what God spoke to me about. And um it is not going to be easy. It is not going to be easy. It is not going to be easy from now. It's not going to be easy. I'm preparing that tribe for a lot of betrayal um, because there's a wood that was not healed. So I'm preparing them for a lot of betrayal. There'll be betrayal after betrayal, betrayal after betrayal. And uh, now I'm preparing the nation. I'm preparing the nation. I spoke this, um, I spoke this uh, even before the elections of last year. I spoke this before the elections, and I told you, I, I prepared us. I actually, I did a, a message on Facebook and on uh, on Facebook and on the WhatsApp group where I was able to reach out, and I prepared the nation. We are going to see reconciliation. You know, we are going to see you know uh, you know a coming together of uh, of uh, you know like what is happening. Like Nehemiah is busy building the walls, and I remember when God gave this government the government, and God allowed them to take over. The the government god spoke about nehemiah chapter 4 so they concentrate on the assignment but now the diversion has come in because of uh, you know because of uh, whatever people are people are looking for and uh, there's a lot of diversion in the nation from the church and from the government a lot of diversion from the cause and the purpose of god now listen uh, but i want to say this uh now god will never god will never uh, allow the righteous you know to be uh, to be to be afflicted or to suffer because of wickedness of other people. So I want to let the remnants of God's people in Kenya to know, those who have not diverted uh, from whichever tribe, even the Kikuyus, if you have not diverted, you're doing your business in the, way of, in the ways of the Lord, fear not. The remnants of God's people in the nation will be preserved. That is God for you. That is what we are seeing when, when the time of Noah came. God is preserving. You know, God is asking during the time of Lord, God is asking. They are negotiating with Abraham because that is God for you. That the God has a remnant in the nation, even from whichever 
tribe, God has, a, you know, a remnant. So uh, because of whatever has happened and whatever was not, was whatever has not been dealt with, and, uh, you know, it, it kind of, it has now, you know, began the calling in the nation. So I prepared us, and I still want to say this, because it's it's already it under, undercover, it's already ongoing. And what you're going to see even from this video is, you know, the fruits of, of what I'm about to say, because it's going to be very clear. It's going to be very clear. So you're going to see, you know, this particular, particular the, the Kiku tribe, you're going to see a lot of betrayal in so many places, a lot of betrayal, a lot of betrayal, a lot of betrayal. To an extent that, um, uh, to an extent that, uh, because uh, I hear the Spirit of God say they have a price to pay. <laughs> They have a price to pay in so many places. They have a price to pay uh, because, you know, let me, let me tell you that. Um, so we are going to see that because why there is a wood, there's a wood that was, was, um, that was inflicted somewhere. And that wood was never healed by anybody. Even the priesthood that are very close to some of these people, they never dealt with that wood. So that wood is about to ooze. Something that is not very good. Something that is not very good. So um, we, we are got to see a coming together. I'm, 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 I want to use uh, parables. Anybody in the spirit, you're going to get it. I don't want to mention any name here because the spirit of God told, told, today told me don't mention any name. So I'm, I'm not mentioning anybody's name. So we are going to see because that wood is now beginning to ooze to ooze and you know what is coming out there is not something very good so what you're going to to to, to see are true characters of people who covered up you know uh, just to cross over somewhere so you're going to see them in their true colors and um you, what what you're going to now to see uh because when people divert from the course of course now they are leading themselves and they are now a, a lot of selfishness now is now coming in you're going to see that as a nation so what you're going to see is I want to use the case scenario of Nehemiah. So Nehemiah is given an assignment by God, and you know there is the building of the walls, and he's on the ground already with his people. They are they are doing the the assignment of God, and what you see at the end of the day, there are people coming to oppose here and there. So you never saw Nehemiah. You never saw Nehemiah cooperating with the Tobias or the Sanibarats. You never saw. So in the nation of Kenya. You know, the rebuilding and the diversion has come in and whatever has come in. So you're going to see the coming together of the Nehemiah's camp, the Nehemiah's camp, and a part of the Tobias and the Sanibarats. You're going to see it. You are going to see it. So I leave that message there. You are going to see it. It's already happening under the carpet. So in days to come, and I told the nation of Kenya, be very careful about year 2024 and be very careful about year 2025 as whatever uh, has diverted is going the direction wherever they are going. Now, the, the remnant of God's people, they will be preserved by the masses of God. And number two, number two, God is raising. God is clearing away. One thing I want the nation of Kenya to know is that God will never allow this nation to go down to the drain. So no matter who diverts, no matter who does what, God will still preserve the nation of Kenya. And let me tell you, this time around, and that's why I'm talking about, uh, you know, you know, there was a grace period of about three years, you know, for, for one, two, three things in the nation. So you're going to see, you're going to see God will begin out clearing things and clearing people and clearing ways, you know, for his own purposes in the nation. This is purely going to be the operation of God. So anytime somebody thinks, now they have now they have you know they they have made it now they have gone their way let me tell you god is in kenya god is in kenya and this voice should be heard by everybody god is in kenya and god is for kenya oh god is in kenya and god is for kenya so there's going to be a lot of uh you know a turbulence a, 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 a political turbulence that is going to be a turmoil that will even affect, you know, the church because uh, some people, uh, you know, decided to to eat the delicacies of uh, of some of these authorities, so they have no voice anymore. They cannot correct anything. And I want the the, the, the church to know. I mean, uh, I want the nation of Kenya to know that the church of the church of Jesus Christ in Kenya, the body of Jesus Christ, is still intact. Whatever has no voice and whatever has fallen, that is not the body of Jesus Christ. God has a remnant in the nation of Kenya. God has true apostles in the land. God has true prophets. God has true evangelists. God has true pastors and true teachers of the word. They are there. 
they are there and this is a time you know amidst all these you know god has been clearing way you know for for the right voices because why we have entered into a season for the right prophetic voice to take up even uh you know even in the presence of influence like state house you know because there has been a lot of spiritual clogging as a lot of spiritual clogging i told you that the atmosphere of the nation has been operating without of selfishness so somebody has, has has an access to state house and with authorities here and there and what they can look for is the tether I can get, the money to build a child, the money to build a certain, the money to do what? So, you know, somebody is not mindful about the generations of the children after them. So somebody is just thinking about my name now but not minding about tomorrow. Now that that season, you know, is being countered by the Lord himself in the nation of Kenya and God has been preparing, you know, the right priesthood for himself in the nation and it is really going to be amazing because these are people who don't look like the, the Davids, you know, bring down the God people who are just coming and appearing they don't look like but they are relevant for the hour so that is the season we are entering into so where is the where is the healing of the nation where is the healing of the nation where is the healing of the nation so the healing of the nation is hidden in a debola and now from the kikuyu tribe she can here from the kikuyu tribe God has been preparing Adibola, the healing of the nation of Kenya. Can I say this? It will not be soon. I don't know how long it will take before Jesus comes back. But it may not be easy and it, will not, it is not going to be soon for any Kikuyu man to lead the nation of Kenya anymore. It is not going to be soon and it may not be easy. I'm not saying it will never be. But I'm saying it may not be easy for God to trust any other Kikuyu man with the leadership, with the presidency of the nation of Kenya. But the healing grace of the nation is going to be entrusted by God in a mother, a mother figure, a Deborah, where the nation of Kenya is. God, it's the desire of God. And I'm preparing the nation. If Jesus tells we shall have a woman president. God is preparing a Deborah Grace. God is somebody who has the welfare, you know, who, who has the welfare of, of, of people who, who, who does not, Deborah is not arising with a selfish agenda. She's arising because, you know, there is no livelihood in the villages and what have you. And the Bible says, until I, Deborah, arose. Something had stopped, you know, nothing was moving on until I had Deborah. So there is going to be such a trigger already. You know, it has been there even um, as we were voting. That thing was there as we were campaigning and all those, that thing was there about, you know, a woman. So now this is a time God is preparing and this Deborah, I want to specify, be very specific. This, this woman is Akikuyu. This woman is Akikuyu. This woman is Akikuyu. This woman is Akikuyu. I said I'm not tribalistic. I'm releasing the word of God. I said, I said, uh, I'm speaking for God. I'm speaking for the might of God. So this woman, is the Deborah in the nation of Kenya, is Akikuyu. Is Akikuyu. There is that in the spiritual realm. There is that. If we align with the purposes of God, the healing of the nation. Whatever, you know, needs to be met in the country, it will be done by a Deborah Grace. It will be done by a Deborah Grace. Somebody who has godliness in them, somebody who fears God, somebody, a mother, a mother. And as I say this, I still want to repeat the revival of the nation of Kenya. It is in the hands of women and the young people. It is in the hands of women and the, and the young people. The revival of Kenya will not break forth where people are thinking about masses and what have you. Let me tell you what you're about to see in the nation of Kenya. Watch 2024. Watch 2025. You are going to see moves of women, moves, moves and movement of women and, uh, you know, and, and young people, you know, full of the Holy Spirit, because why that those are the people God has now entrusted with the healing of the nation. Those are the people God has entrusted. And I, I want to surprise you. These are not people that are known. They are not there. Nehemiah was not known, you know, and, and God is leaving the people who are even uh, in Jerusalem. You know, they are, their priests are there and they, are, they cannot see, you know, any, any problem with the walls of Jerusalem. So God is getting somebody. I am person from very far. Hallelujah. So it is the, the kinds of 
Joseph, the kind of Esther's of our time, the kind of the kinds of Mary of Nazareth, you know, the kinds of Timothy's and, and uh, the kind of Titus's. These are the kind of moves you are about to see in the nation of Kenya for the glory and honor of the name of the Lord. Because as 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 whatever is happening, the diversions that are there, God has been working behind the curtain because He is God. This is how God is preparing, you know, behind the curtain. God is preparing, you know, David in the grassy fields, and and by the time he appears before before God, yet he is able to deal with him. Hallelujah. So God has been preparing a people, and let me tell you, the move of God in the nation of Kenya is not in whatever is known and whoever is known. It is in the hands of women and the young people, and you you are going to see that. You're going to see that. You're going to see it already at that way. You're going to see that for yourself. Through Kana, everywhere, I must say that people who cannot even construct an English sentence, God is going to use the nobodies, like the four lepers. You know, God is choosing men of Nazareth. There were so many other wealthy people and so many other great people. But why is God choosing this particular girl? Because he is God. Hallelujah. You know, look at the people God is using even in the Bible. You know, they, they don't look like. Hallelujah. So the nobody, we call them in quotes the nobodies. So that nobody will receive the glory of what God is about to do in the nation of Kenya. So we are there. We are there and God has been preparing this Deborah. So we are, we are about to see, uh, you know, the manifestation of, the, I, I hear the spoke, you know, the spoke God has been talking to me about the popcorning of, of whatever God wants to, to do because it's something that has been, you know, just just like that. It's as if there is no movement, there's nothing, but then it is just going to come up. Then somebody is, wow, that is it. Hallelujah. And uh, because it is a deal of God and because of the end time assignment for the nation of Kenya, God will sort out every mess in this country to fix order and to do what he's supposed to do. Hallelujah. So it is good to know, um, I thank God very soon that God will enable me to print this book. 2013, God allowed me to go out of the country and I wrote a book uh, about the redemptive gift of every tribe in the nation of Kenya because we need to know some of the things we, we fight is because we don't know who we are. But the minute we know who we are, then people will be led by the servants of God in those regions, you know, to go the direction of who we are. Uh, and sometimes it's very difficult because we are, we are not operating. Some people in the spirit of God others are in the other spirits, so it may be very difficult. But nevertheless, the purpose of God for the nation of Kenya will start. I love what the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 14. You know, the Bible says, when the heart of God is stretched out, nobody can return it back. When, when God has purpose, nobody can annul it. Hallelujah. So when God has purpose, no matter who tries to do. And Isaiah chapter 55 from verse 8, you know, I love verse 10. You know, when the word of God has come out of his mouth from all the way from 1972, you know, as God preordained for the nation of Kenya, he is still following up his word and that word will never go back to him void until he has accomplished his purposes in the name of Jesus. So we are going to see you know, uh, you know uh, uh, some things that are going to be wow, scaring. Some of them are like going, wow, was it going this direction? Yes. So there is a, there is a wood that was not healed uh, in the past regime, particularly the last five years and now it is going to affect this current government it, and it may go the same direction it may go the same direction because why let me tell you you're going to see it you're going to see it because that would actually the spoke god is telling me the wood has begun oozing oozing and actually the order the smell of, of that wood is now being felt in the nation it can be smelled in the nation it isn't there so what is the part of the intercessors and what is the part of the the, the i'm talking about the body of jesus christ because the body of jesus christ has not fallen we are still intact hallelujah so ours is to genuinely repent. Our, our part is to pray for those who are in authorities. But what God wants to accomplish, we have allowed him. And uh, he's going to accomplish because it is for our good. Actually, the Lord told me the turbulence that is coming in the nation, it's for our good. Because if God does not do that, you know, there's, there's not going to be, uh, there's not going to be a lot of selfishness agenda will be manifested even as we go along. So this time around, we are going to see, and we prepared you for a cabinet reshuffle. For somebody told me, woman of God, it is now done. <laughs> yeah, God spoke to us before it was done, and we know the reason why it has been done. We know the reason why. Yeah, we know the reason why. We God spoke to us, and we know the reason why. <laughs> So, um, so our part is to pray for the nation. Our part is to pray for the nation. Remain in a place of prayer. Uphold the government. Uphold, uh, you know, because why the Bible says we are seated with Christ in every places, and uh, you know God has given us the power. Job chapter twenty-two and verse twenty-eight. We shall decree a thing. Hallelujah. 
Holy. So we are declaring, we are decreeing what we need to see according to the word of God, what God has said concerning Kenya. That is what we are decreeing in the atmosphere in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I, I, I just came on board to prepare us. Um, prophet is all about the economy. God is working things out. There are things God has to fix by his own authority so that the nation can go the direction of God because as, as, as per the way the things are right, right now, the Lord spoke to me yesterday when I was going to church in the morning. Wow, the government has diverted from the cause. The government has diverted from the cause. So our work is to pray for them. Our work is to pray for them. There is a lot of diversion. And remember the other time God spoke to me and he told me the way the government of Kenya is right now is a reflection of the fallen church. Is a reflection of the fallen church because uh, uh, I, you know too much too much is not going as God had purpose and planned. So this is a reflection of whatever God had intended for, you know, the church, but some people diverted from the course. So it is a foreign church. So the same case has applied, uh, applied to the government of Kenya, but it is not in, um, it is not in an ICU, you know, it is not in an ICU. It can still, you know, it, if we have two prophets who are speaking the mind of God, you know, to the head of state and the, the deputy and even their wives and tell them the truth and even the, the CSAs and the, the governors and all those people, you know, they can be restored because why? It is not bad off. You know, it is just, the losing is just beginning. It's not bad off. But then the, the spirit of God has been speaking to me. There's a lot of selfishness in the atmosphere of the nation, both from the, the, the foreign church and the, the, the government of the day. There's a lot of selfishness. You know, somebody just looking at this because of their own agenda. Uh, and uh, or the, whatever the Nehemiah group and uh, whatever the Tobias who are going to come together, the spoke God told me, it's not because of the welfare of the nation. They'll come up saying it is the welfare of the nation, but then it will be and the Spirit of God told me it will be out of their selfish ambitions. It's not about the welfare of the nation. It's about their selfish ambition. So ours is to start in the gap and to pray for the nation. We are starting to be counted. Uh, deny yourself a meal in a week. Take one day to fast for the nation. Because let me tell you, you know, we are here. We, we are mothers here. We have our children here. Our children are, are learning here. You know, we have our, even the small ones. You know, others are yet to be born. Others are in the world right now, even as I speak to you. So children are still be born in Kenya. So we would want to have a nation that God preordained for us so that we can you know, accomplish the purposes of God and the name of the Lord is going to be glorified. Hallelujah. So I don't want to say anything that the Lord has not sent me to say. I just wanted to bring forth that word. But allow me to bring forth uh, to bring forth some, some scriptures. <sighs> allow me to read for us some few scriptures. I want to read for us Judges. Um, judges, I have some few scriptures. So Judges is before Kings, uh, before Samuel, before Kings. Uh, so Judges chapter 10. Judges chapter 10. Let me show you some things. Uh, it's good to see some things in the Bible. So Judges chapter 10 and verse 10, the Bible says, and the, and, and the children of Israel cried out to the Lord, saying, We have sinned against you because we have both forsaken our God and served the bars. Hallelujah. So there, when 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 a people when people have diverted from the cause, you know they have now forsaken the ways of the Lord. They have you know now begun doing things that are not in line with the agenda of God. So and that what you see here is that the children of, the children of Israel, you know, they cried to God, you know, and they confessed it. They knew it and they confessed it. So that thing is needed in the nation right now. Re genuine repentance, particularly because uh, three quarter of what we have in the government but get the top the top creek you know they 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 they, they confess to be born again they confess to, to love jesus so there is a way things cannot be done there's a way things cannot be done i have been saying this and i will say it and somebody was like no it no let me tell you you know we have had other governments before including our beloved former president Humugai Kenyatta. He never allowed anything LGBTQ in the nation of Kenya. How comes, how comes people who are confessing to be to, to love Jesus have allowed it? I, I'm seeing, you know, you know, as I've been now, we have we have been saying this, as long as this is allowed, they will not there will be no rest. There will be no rest. There'll be no peace. There'll be no rest. You know, for them, not for us, for them. 
Because why? There will be no peace for them. Because why? This nation cannot go that direction. We cannot allow whether the judges of high court or whichever court. I even don't know in which court passed this. You know, whichever court, it cannot be allowed. And let me tell you, when the, the, the people who are supposed to be speaking, the people who are even called in the state house to go and give thanks and eat there on a Sunday. Oh my God, servants of God were summoned on a Sunday <laughs> to go and, and celebrate in the state house and give thanks. I don't know the kind of a function it was <laughs> listen to this listen to this how aren't they able to reach out now to the same state house and correct that error now you know when i when i when i, I prayed about this today i mean yesterday it is already a new date it's now 20th now listen to this you know the spirit of god told me what what god i mean what mordecai is telling esther you know you are there don't think you are going to be saved you and your father's house you're going to be saved the help of god's people will come from somewhere else what are you seeing the nation of kenya you know this the voices are speaking you know the voices are speaking the Ishmaelites are speaking. People are speaking. And let me tell you, people may have even been given money from whichever source and whichever sources are supporting these things. But let me tell you, as long as this one has been around, that's why I'm talking about, you know, people who are not mindful, you know, about the children, about the welfare of the nation. People are, people are just acting out of selfish ambitions. There's a lot of selfishness. Because seriously, are uh, those judges who passed this not 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 parents, not fathers, not mothers who who did this? You know, and let me tell you, you the, the people who eat with the president and the people who are able to reach him and the first family and all you gather the meetings you want to gather and cover up in conferences and what have you. But as long as this one you have not addressed it, the people who are the people who who are concerned, they will know no peace in this nation. They will know no peace. Because the nation of Kenya cannot be taken out of godliness. It cannot. We cannot allow that. So we keep on saying this. And this one, you know, you know, anything you do is a seed. Anything you do is a seed. Anything you do is a seed. It will affect you to your fourth generation. You think it's that easy? God is not a joke. So Nehemiah chapter... Um, uh, so you can, uh, for, for judges, you can begin from verse 6 uh, to 18, verse 6 to 18, and see what, uh, you know, they were, Israel were oppressed again because why they had sinned. So they suffered oppression because they had sinned. So they are now confessing. They realize it, and now they are confessing. Nehemiah chapter 9, Nehemiah chapter 9, just ahead there, uh, the book of Nehemiah chapter 9. Nehemiah chapter 9. Nehemiah is uh, right after Ezra. Nehemiah chapter 9 and verse 16. Nehemiah chapter 9 and verse 16. So the Bible says, the Bible says, but they and our fathers acted proudly, hardened their, their necks, and did not heed your commandments. Are you seeing this? So, uh, you know, people again, the people of Israel are confessing their sins. So they are reminding God even where they are coming from about the sins of their fathers. And this is now the beauty of knowing where we are coming from and the prophetic word for the nation. So that even as we repent, as we pray, you know, as uh, remnants of God's people, we shall pray guided. We are not just praying from a bright eye. We are praying guided. So these ones are confessing. Verse 26, you can read for yourself. Um, Nehemiah chapter 9 from verse 26. You know, you can see how uh, the Bible says, Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against you. So Nehemiah there is reminding God what the good things God had done. Nevertheless, you know, they were disobedient and rebelled against you. Cast your law behind their, their backs and he killed your prophets who, who testified against them. This is the same thing that is happening. You speak the truth, you become a target. But hallelujah, but we are preserved by the masses of God. We cannot keep quiet. Hallelujah. Amen. So and uh, to turn them to uh, to turn to turn them to, uh, to yourself and they worked great provocations. Therefore, you delivered them into the hands of their enemies who oppressed them and in the time of their trouble when they cried to you, you heard from heaven and accorded I mean, and according to your abundant masses, you gave them deliverers who saved them from the heart of their enemies. Hallelujah. So, you know, if you look at that, you can you read, um, you know, the, the whole of that from Jeremiah chapter 9, from verse 16 all the way to 37. You see, you know, God is, a, you know, the Bible talks about your abundant masses. 
God is very merciful. God is very merciful. So that's why I'm saying it is not all lost. The diversion is there for real. It's there. The diversion of the government of Kenya is there. So diverted from the cause. Hallelujah. And that's a reflection of the foreign church. You know, the diversion is so clear. Even the spiritual realm is very clear. So it's not badly off. It's not badly off. If they, they, they get the right counsel and they be cautioned by true prophet, people who are not you know, going to them to get tethers and to, to get solicit money for projects in, you know, people who are having the welfare, you know, of, of the nation at heart, true prophets and true apostles. And that has been my prayer. May the Lord take to our state house. You know, the people who are reading the there, may, may, they, may, may they be the current voices of God for the nation. You know, they are true apostles, the true, the true pastors, the true evangelists, the true teachers, the true prophets, because that's all what we need. And people who speak not because of what they can get from an authority, but speaking the mind of God as it is for the sake of the destinies of those people, number one, and even of the nation, in the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 59, Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 2, Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 2. So I'm there, so I'm reading for us. So, but you are, the Bible says, but your iniquities have separated you from your God and your sins have hidden his face from you so that we will, so that he will not hear. So iniquities and sins, iniquities and sins. So the church knows what to do. Iniquities, we need to, uh, to, to repent of these iniquities so that our God may have mercy. But let me tell you, uh, we have allowed, I told you from the beginning, we have allowed God to do what he wants to do with the nation of Kenya. Because if some of these things are not cleared from the way, if some of these things by God's own um, uh, might, heart, and power, if some of these things and some of these issues are not cleared by God himself, the nation of Kenya will never become. You know, we shall keep on talking about this, but it will never become. So this time, particularly from the October, and uh, October going all the way to 2025, there's going to be a lot of operation of the heart of God in the nation of Kenya to clear every mess and to, to sort out so many things. Some of these things are not going to be very rosy. I'm promising you. They are going to be so scaring and so shocking, but it is God at work. And it is good for the nation. It is good for the nation. So numbers 32, numbers 32 just behind again there. Numbers, it's again behind there. Numbers chapter 32, numbers chapter 32 and verse 23. Numbers chapter 32 and verse 23. So the Bible says, verse 23, the Bible says, But if you do not do so, then take note, you have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sin will find you out. Hallelujah. So any time we don't do what we are supposed to do. Let me tell you, the people who are diverting from the cause of, of from the cause, you know, of God and diverting, and even the clergy, you know, the people who are diverting from the cause of God, and you get some little hard outs, and you cannot now speak anymore or correct errors. You know, you just go. You you know, some of them have even gone for powers of darkness, and they are they are just you know covering up with the titles. Let me tell you, this time around, your sins will find you out. There is nowhere to hide anymore. But in the nation of Kenya, there is nowhere to hide anymore. Your sins will find you out. First John, first John is in the New Testament. First John, I'm there. First John chapter 1 and verse 9. First John chapter 1 and verse 9. First John chapter 1 and verse 9. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us, uh, to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from our unrighteousness, all our unrighteousness. Hallelujah. If we confess. So I'm, I'm setting the, this word forth. Anybody who is going to hear the word and you know you have diverted from the cause. Because let me tell you, let me tell you, you know, it is God who lifts one. The Bible says promotion does not does not come from east or west. It comes from, from God. So it is God who, you know, lifted Saul. The same, the, another moment, you know, it's God who is dealing with him in an opposite direction. That is God for you. So if we confess anywhere, any one of us has felt from the state house to the church, everywhere, and God has given an opportunity. When you hear this voice, and I know there are so many other voices, God is giving so many of us an opportunity to repent from our state house to every corner. You know, you know. To, and let me tell you, confessing is not now does not mean you cover up the seed. Like what the wood I'm talking about that is already now oozing. 
you know, it is now still the oozing, and the oozing, the smell is now being felt in the nation because why it was just covered up that that error was not corrected. So it is has to, it is now oozing, you know, <laughs> beyond, you know, another, another, I mean, beyond, you know, another, another government and all that. And it, it was not necessarily that way. Because let me tell you, God, and I told you when we entered uh, 20, uh, when we were crossing over to 2020, you know, God spoke and he said, we have entered into a season of a, of a great harvest and reward. And God said, for the remnants of his people, it is going to be favorable. You know, the unprecedented honor and the unprecedented favor. But for the wicked, the Bible says there will be no peace for the wicked. Now that season is here with us. Hallelujah, that season is here with us. So we, we are going to see, you know, and remember God said in this season, on this decade, you know, he's going to serve justice, even in family levels, you know, where people have oppressed others, where people are doing some, some things, craftedness, you know, so that some people can lose jobs in, in some parastatos and in some places. Some people can be forced to early retirement in some places. You know, you conspire against somebody and you do what, let me tell you, this time around, this time around, it will not go beyond 2025. God is serving justice and it is going to be very fast. And some of the justice God is going to serve, it is going to be so traumatizing. It is going to be a painful pill from the heart of the Lord for people to swallow. So now there's a provision in the word of God. If we confess our sins, if you know, if you know, even me, Regina, if I know, I have done something. Anybody who is going to watch this video as a Kenyan, locally and internationally, if you know as an as a as a born again person, as a person who is calling themselves, you know, sons of God, if you know you have you know you have diverted from the cause, we are beginning from us. We are beginning from us. Let us repent so that we are able now to start before God and intercede for the nation, intercede for the authorities. Hallelujah. And God is going. I love what the Bible says in the book of Chronicles. If my people who are called by na my name, if they, they humble themselves and pray and turn from their wickedness. Hallelujah. God will hear from heaven and heal their land. That's so that we, ha we have the backup of the word of God. That's why I'm saying we need just to... Um, to agree, we have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Where we have failed, the people, if you know, and that's what I'm saying myself, everybody put yourself in, a, in, a, in your own shoes and start before God. If you are justified, you are okay. Because let me tell you, whatever will happen in the nation, the turbulence and all of you, the remnants of God's people will be saved. The remnants of God's people will be saved. But there will be crying and betrayal after betrayal in some quarters. That is not going to be a very good pill for some people to swallow. God bless you. Thank you. May the Lord, um, may the Lord remember the nation of Israel, me and my everything, and, uh, and my nation and the continent of Africa. We are for peace in Jerusalem, and we are declaring it is well with the nation of Israel. Let me tell you, God has a way out for his people. Let me tell you, Israel will never go down. God has a way out for those people. And God is going to give them the wisdom and the intelligence of handling that, that attack. You know, we just continue praying for them, even the other side. You know, they are innocent citizens and children that are going through that pain that is not necessary. But number one, I want the nations of the world to know we are in eight times. We shall hear that. Go and read Matthew 24. These are the kind of things, nations rising against nations. So these are the kind of things. We know what the Bible says about the attack of Israel in this eight time. So these are just, you know, the, 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 you know, the, the, the bad pangs, the beginning of bad pangs. So we are headed there. Anybody in the spirit, you know. So I'm requesting the church and everybody, uh, let us remain ready. Let us remain ready. Get ready, remain ready, and live ready. Because why? The, the speed of the fulfillment of what God has said in his word. We, you know, from the month of August this year, 2023, God has commanded for speed. And the speed of God is not our speed. So we are going to see the quick fulfillment of what God has, you know, the robots and the rema. We are going to see that. That is the season we are in. So, and for those who are going to watch this word and you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, let let me tell you, Jesus Christ is coming back. Prepare your life. Prepare your life. Don't just live here as if you're not going anywhere. Let each one of us might whether their names are written in the last book of life. Let each one of us be ready for the second coming of Jesus Christ. God bless you. See you another time by the mercies of God. Shalom.